the simplest target practice exercise is just going to be a point to point exercise. So this, you make your center point and then you pick a point and you go point to point. Essentially, this is just saying, well, I want the line to go there. Can I make it go there? And you'll notice that a lot of old masters, modern masters like Glenn Vilpew, when you watch them draw, they do this all the time. They put a series of target points out and then they hit them with lines, arcs, and so on. Another fun target practice exercise is set the straight lines. So you put a dot out, you go boom, boom. Put a dot, boom, boom. Put a dot, boom, boom. And you try not to lift up off the page and try to go in both directions. And you want to pause as little as possible at the peak so that you're creating something nice and fluid. And what we're doing here with target practice is we draw a line, make a couple of tick marks, and those are our beginning and end points. And now what you're going to do is place a dot out in space and you're going to try to create an arc that goes around through the dot and back. And it's okay if you miss. And you just place dots randomly around and you try to create elegant arcs. The trick to this is to be loose, relaxed, make sure your paper is solid. What happens is you'll notice that sometimes you kind of slow and you get a little bit of jitter. That's not what you want. You're trying to be elegant with it. And if that happens, something happened with the motion of your arm, um, or you did a little something with your wrist or fingers. But if you're drawing with, you know, straight shoulder and you're staying relaxed, it shouldn't be an issue. So this, you're trying to get something very elegant, very flowing. This warm-up exercise is all about practicing elegant S-curves. So what you're going to do here is put a top and a bottom tick mark and somewhere in, in the middle, hopefully of an, in an uneven point, you're going to put another tick mark. And then you're going to place a couple of dots outside of that and you're going to go through this with an arc, through that, back and create a long S curve and hopefully that's super elegant and flowing and you can place these anywhere just one on one side one on the other and so what I try to do is look at my target point right what I'm doing is target practice basically and as I flow through I'm keeping my next target point in mind so I'm going to put a target point up here got my target point there I'm going to put one out here so I'm looking at target point, target point, target point, target point. Boom, 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 boom. So you just try to keep your, more or less, keep your eye on the ball. And this is also another good place to practice like line weight and such things. So you can be super delicate with it. You can go thin to thick and so on. So you can go thin, thick, through, thin, thick, down. So you can start combining some of the warm-up exercises if these get boring for you. Another good warm-up is called the straight in, straight out exercise. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do, it's an S-curve exercise. So you're gonna pick a little point on either side, you're gonna go straight in, S curve, and then straight out. And then once you do this a few times, you don't need to have target points, you can just do it. And you can imagine where it would be if you can if you continued the pattern. And you can go up and you can go down, and then you should switch sides. Do it on both sides. So you create this like diamond pattern as you go down. And this is gonna be really useful for drawing all kinds of things. Another one is 
on a sphere. So you just pick two points, go straight in, straight out. And so on. That's going to help you with drawing ellipses and subdividing spheres. This right now is my favorite one. This is basically the connect three lines target practice idea. So what you're going to do is instead of using points, you're going to use short lines. And you're going to place two or three or three short lines, and then you're going to figure out how to connect them. Okay. Now use one of the reuse one of those lines and add two more. So you got to figure out how you can connect those elegantly. What kind of curves, arcs, and movement do you need to do to connect those dots? So maybe you start here, and you're going to go there and there. And you can just play around with all of the variety of this and have tons of fun connecting new and old dots. You can cross, you can not cross, whatever you want to do. And you can fill up a whole entire page just having fun with this sort of stuff.